the, the university's good is on its own track. You can see uh, COVID protocols are being adhered to, the students are learning. So there are no issues. You have seen this, uh, the quality of the labs, international standards. Having been to the Japanese labs, this one just looks like that. But for the early learners, I want to say this. There are uh, over 10 million of them. I want today to request on behalf of government that the Kenyan parents who are still denying paying the balance of their third term school fees should please pay, pay that fee without further delay. Our population is a very interesting one. The majority of the people who are not paying fees can afford to pay fees. My exemption is that uh, the head teachers and principals should double check and ensure that the child they are sending home is not from a very poor and indigent family or a family that a family has lost a job. The majority of the people who are refusing to pay fees can afford to pay and they must now pay. This is the last term of the year. The, the, the last half of the last term of the year. So uh, I have uh, moved backward a little because many people are taking advantage. I think uh, the principal should be able to confirm if you are very sure that the child is extremely poor or parents have no way of getting the fee, you can retain. But otherwise, feel free now to administer. By all means, uh, people who have not paid fees, pay fees. I think that's what I wanted to mention. This university has been known for agriculture, science, technology and innovation. And in my advice to them this morning, I was telling them that they should ensure that the water remains in the river. Because there's a very big temptation in Kenya today about universities doing all the other courses that others are doing. And yet you can see that this university is different from the others. I also want to say that we have opened schools today and uh, the children are at school. Uh, we are going to go around again to ensure that so we continue to provide and comply with COVID protocols. There are enough masks for those children who don't have masks. We have ma the, the mask banks all over. And the government has also released uh, 2.8 billion, which is the complete amount for the primary school. So there is no reason for any shortages. And has released 6.5 billion for secondary schools. So we still have another 6.5, which we are going to release in the very near future. It's a very important facility for us because uh, what we had before was just adequate for bachelor students. But with the growth of uh, research in the university, the masters and PhD students and postdocs, we required more space. That's why we've put up this building. It has big uh, uh, laboratories, very well equipped. It has classroom space. And this is where we will bring our postgraduate students of agriculture. Of course, other parts of the university can borrow the facility, but it's mainly for agriculture. And we will benefit a lot. Agriculture, as you know, in this university has got horticulture, food science and processing, uh, animal science, and uh, those are the main uh, natural resources. And they'll all be benefit from this building. It was approximately 70 million uh, from JICA to put up the facility. And then now Jomo Kenyatta, uh, the Kenya government gives the labor, that is Jomo Kenyatta, and the expertise, that is the architects, the civil engineers, and all that, were from Jomo Kenyatta. And uh, those, so it's both, both governments.